what's up everybody I just decided to make this video here I wanted to show people my trading journal see if maybe that would be of any interest to anybody out there that's watching this uh, I've been working on it since in this case March 27th but I do have a few other spreadsheets I started my first spreadsheet last year in I think around November is when I started it it was not near as extravagant as this one is but I've definitely been making do with this one and I got a lot of pretty cool things to show you so the first thing up at the top here these are all the strategies that I have a uh, bunch of different ones got my gaps gap and go ups downs um, if it's a high a day breakout uh, if it's the first pullback a double tap and then the wall where it hits a stock multiple time or a price level multiple times and then the same way on the low of days um, if it's a breakout down or a break breakout down or breakout up, uh, these post breakouts are if I ever get a chance to do my double size and I have an IPO trade and I got my top reversals and my bottom reversals and my double size if I get the chance to do a double size on the top reversal or a bottom reversal. So these are my win percentages for each and every one of these trades. Uh, a win for me is if my net gain is green. It's not if it hits a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio or anything like that. It's if it is simply if it is green, it's a win. Uh, here's my average dollar return for each trade and my average risk or risk return for each trade. Uh, I simply put an X if it was that kind of trade. So this BBY here was a high day breakout up and it was a just a breakout up. And the being a win counts it throws it up here, counts them all up, takes out the uh, adds in the winners, so you got a whole bunch of mini code up there I guess you could say. Um, then we got the symbol, I started doing day of week and then later on I decided to do my confidence in each of the trades. I have my time of day, I have a, a scale if it's in the first, teen, first 15 minutes it's a 1, the second what do you want to say? How do I want to say? It? I don't know. After the first 15 minutes to the next until 9 is a 2, and then half hours, 3 and 4, and then if it's after 10, then it's a 5. Um, this is the market. It's my perception of the market. So if it's a negative 1, if I think it's just a negative 1, or, you know, lately we just had a, my first negative 4 whenever the market was really red and SPY was red. Uh, short and long, number of shares I took, the risk of where my stop loss would be, the number that I got in at. Uh, one thing that I just recently started doing is this max drawdown. Um, that's the that's the point at which the my position was at its lowest. So usually a loss. Uh, that's I started what my first one was what May fifth, and most of my trades, uh, maybe not most of them, but some of them, don't even turn into a negative at all. Some some trades don't even have a drawdown whatsoever. But then we got the out, the money at risk, and then the cents at risk, net gain, net loss, uh, the cent return, cent loss, and then my R squared or my risk to risk to reward on that specific trade. So you can see I was risking forty two dollars on this trade and I made ninety eight. So that gave me a 2.33 risk reward. Uh, in this case, on JD here, I should never see anything below a 1 because I'm always risking 1. So something must have happened on this trade where I was only risking $15. I don't know if I accidentally, yeah, you can see, there's only a 3 cent stop loss there. And I guess I missed it by a little bit, so I'm being a small loser. But yeah, you can see it's a minus 2 there. Never want to see those. And then on the right over here, I have all of my basically cool statistical information that I just figured might help me in some way. So we can see that average win on any given trade, average loss, this is the total amount of money that I've made on every single trade that I've taken on this list. Uh, my short average win percent, my long average win percent, 19 short wins, 30 short win or 30 long wins, and then you got the losses, average profit for each of my trades, shorts and longs, total wins, total losses, 
and my average cent return compared to my average cent loss, average positive risk reward, and average negative risk reward. Always want to definitely want to see this one get above one, while this one is doable. Obviously, you want to see it closer to zero, but gotta do what you gotta do. Um, this is my average trades a day and my average profits a day. This I think this one was what it should be at if I was risking. This is what it should be if I am hitting a one. I think when I made this, I made it a one to two risk reward compared to this. Um, if I'm only risking one percent of my account, this is what I would like it to be. This is what I'm aiming for it to be, but this is what it actually is. And this is based on a number of things um, average risk, average return for each and every trade. Uh, probably the most recent thing that I put on this is these. I decided to start keeping track of how many trading days I had that started with a loser and turned into a winner. So you can see that the f I've had 14 days where my first trade was a loser, and only six of those days I turned back around and turned them into winners. So I'm only I'm almost at 50% of my days where I start off with a loss, I turn it back around. So that's just a nice information bit to know and on four of these days I only took one trade that ended up being a loss uh, this is my market condition win percentage so if I think the markets at a zero and I mark a trade for the market one over here as a zero for every long that I take looks like I've won two or three and for every short I am nothing so you can see whenever it was a negative four I was shorting two stocks won both of them uh, whenever the markets up pretty good amount um, three for four most of my most of them you know they stick around in here and then negative two to the two no it's never usually too extreme uh, this is my confidence in time of day win percentages so I got six trades that I've taken that I thought were a two that I give them a confidence and it looks like I only won one of them and my threes I'm at 56 which is that's kind of funny here because for every four that I've had, I'm only at 40%, but a three is 56%. Only one five, and it was a winner. Which is, I don't, I don't really know how I feel about this confidence one, to be honest, because I can never say that I'm absolutely certain that a stock is going to do something. So if I give it a five, it must be some crazy perfect setup or something. And I would never take a trade that I would give a one. So I don't really know why I should even have this, to be honest. But I do, just in case. Uh, the time of day, uh, yeah, here's the uh, 8.30, 8.45, 8.45 to 9, and then after the after 10, taking 13 trades after 10, and I got 61% win rate. So if it's later in the day, usually I only take reversals later in the day, but obviously if a wall sets up, I'll take it too. So I got a pretty good win percentage on that one. Uh, the same with the days of the week here. You see Friday's my best day. I'm winning, what is that, 12 out of 20 trades on a Friday. Same with the short and the longs. Looks like I'm pretty good at shorting on a Monday. And I'm pretty bad at shorting on a Thursday. Pretty good at longing on a Friday. And my average return for each and every day. So it looks like the only day that I'm really losing money is on Thursdays. And you can see my win percentage is pretty low. So basically, Thursdays are my worst trading days. So I guess that kind of tells me that on Thursdays, I should really be looking for only the best setups that are given to me. Um, this is my big ol' stock price chart and my win percentages on it. So you can see I've taken 21 trades on stocks between 10 and $20, and I got a 62% win rate on it. So obviously, if a stock's 10 to $20, I know I got a pretty solid chance of winning on it here. The same keeping track of the shorts, how many shorts are in between 10 and 20, uh, average return on all of them, same with the longs, average return on all my longs, depending on the stock price, and then I guess this is the second last thing that I created was my reversal chart here, so I got on a market day that I give a negative 2 and I'm taking bottom reversals. So if the market is down and I'm trying to find a stock that I think is going to go back up, even though the market's down, I'm only winning, 
Uh, I don't have a count on this one, but I'm only winning 25% of the time. And you can see if I'm doing a top reversal and the market's got a negative 4 here, so the stock's going up, but the market is way down that day, I'm looking for the market to drag that back down, which is which this negative 3 here in the 25, that's not that great either. So this is the big chart that I've been kind of working on, trying to adjust and everything here. So these are all my trades, the win percentages, the average win whenever I win a trade, the average loss, and my average risk reward whenever I'm winning on a trade and losing on a trade. So this, these are the more important ones though. So this is the what my risk reward should be based on the win rate. So if I have a 42.86% win rate, I should be only taking trades that look like they can give me a 1.33 risk reward ratio just based on my win rate and this is my difference between what it actually is and what it should be so you can see if it's positive that means I'm doing good on it that means I'm, I'm above where I should be you can see here I've only got a 25 percent win rate on this one so I should be looking for trades that'll give me a 3 risk reward so this one's a minus 2 here so I'm way behind on those and then this is my RR average. This is the AWAY. So AWAY. This is my just yeah, just the average between the win and loss. Uh, these all should be above one, because I'm trying to only take trades that are at a one or better. Uh, my RR on average, win or loss. So this is my risk reward based on just the money side as opposed to the risk reward ratio side or my win percentage side. So if I'm if I'm looking at these, and this is a 2.94, basically a three, that means that for every loss, thirty dollars, I should be getting ninety dollars. So it's almost at a three there, which is definitely one of the better ones. And my last is my win, my required win rate on money, basically the same as this, but just based on the money instead. Uh, this is the win rate. So for these trades, I should be winning 71.61 percent of these trades because my winners are so small compared to my losses. So if I'm looking at a wall breakout here, I know that I need to increase my winners and possibly risk less, I guess you could say. But yes, this is my trade, this is my trading spreadsheet started it. Uh, definitely plenty of things that I need to add to it. Uh, one thing I've been trying to think about here is adding adding stocks that do reach a one to one risk reward ratio. So I want to count the total number of trades divided by how many times it actually does reach a 1. And that'll give me another number that I can look at. Tell me if I need to be holding out a little longer for some trades and whatnot. But yeah, it's a pretty cool thing. I just wanted to show everybody. If anybody has any questions, want a piece of code or something, I know it, it took me a very long time to figure some of these things out. You can see this one here just a whole bunch of letters, spaces it's keeping in track here. Uh, thanks for watching though. I will be back again on tomorrow.